Hey guys, it's me, FireAlarm19122, and I'm back with the Firelight MS10UD system test. Let's get right into the video. So coming down to the pull station, we have my uh, Simplex MS301C Canadian pull station. I have my address alarms, uh, TSPS-1G-1224. Uh, my address alarms, MTSPS-2G-1224. And then my uh, notifier uh, BNG1. And then I have the key switch and the same smoke detectors. I have my Simplex uh, SmartSync remote strobe. My Simplex TrueAlert SmartSync strobe. My uh, Simplex TrueAlert horn strobe that is free run and SmartSync. I have it on the SmartSync setting. Uh, this is also set to 15 Candela. This is set to 110, or fixed 110. And then I have my uh, Simplex uh, 4903 horn strobe. The uh, It's got the electro, like mechanical horn in it. Um, or like the electronic horn. I'm not sure what uh, Candela this is, but there's this star on it. Um, this is set as two wire. Uh, instead of four wire. This is the only one that won't do audible silence. And then I have my uh, Simplex uh, 4903 remote strobe uh, set to smart sync. Um, so the strobes are set to Faraday sync, but the horns, uh, well, this horn is uh, set, these are both set to code three. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I think it'd be appropriate to start off with my homemade pull stations first. So let's go ahead and pull the first generation fire alarm in three, two, one. Yep, we have audible silence except for that horn strobe right there. I'll we'll go ahead and re-alarm with the uh, MTSPS. There you go. And the way these reset is like any other tab style pull station. You just put the key in. Well, the right key. You put the key in twist it and you lock it same thing with this one you put the key in and then it's a uh, reset and I went ahead and changed the coating let's go ahead and pull the Canadian pull station station and reset if I can find my screwdriver actually we'll come back to it and reset it we'll pull this fire alarm too yep gotta find my alright here we go the way you reset this is uh you push the cover in and then you put a screwdriver in and wedge it up and then um, similar to these two you just take a key for this one you take your notifier key if I can find it close it twist the key and it's reset and then you hit reset All right, I've went ahead and changed the coding to continuous. Uh, this is gonna be really loud, so. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do this drill switch. If I can get the key. Always have problems with this one. 
Here we go. Three, two, one. Very, very loud. And then the last device we will test is the 2424TH. wire detected all right and then we'll give it a reset thank you guys so much for watching this firelight ms10 ud system test and if you like this video and to see more content like this please consider subscribing and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video see ya